Hello survivors, Jeremy Walker here, creator of Towsy, to give you a quick tutorial on what you can presently do in the game, and uh, some information about what's coming up. But just a quick shout out to those city lights who perform the excellent title theme for Town Seed. You can find them on Facebook, and I'm going to put a link in the video description. So, without further delay, here we go. We're going to create a new survivor. Um, you can, on this page, press the tab key, as listed there, to randomize. Oh, here. You can... You can see something I've been meaning to show you. Um, in the list of names that are randomly assigned to survivors, I put the credits. So here you can see Mr. Mark Correa, who has the title of the executive financial producer for his very generous donations to the Down Seed Fund. So we're going to leave that name and we're going to start. I'm going to skip the title sequence so that you guys can. Uh, explore that on your own and uh, we'll just get right into it so if you press the F1 key this is the important thing that I think a lot of people are missing this shows you what all of the commands are so press and hold F1 to see the keyboard commands and their gamepad equivalents anyway the first thing we're gonna want to do is collect some kelp and some wood we spawn on the beach, so both are available. So let's just work on the kelp to break it up and collect it. There. We only actually need about 30, 30 pieces of it, so um, that's plenty. And I could grab this driftwood, but let me quickly look and see if there's any dead wood nearby. There is. Dead wood cuts faster than other kinds of wood. So for early construction, dead wood is very useful. in every case I'm using work to cut down these trees. If I use destroy to cut down trees, this is the result. Destroy the tree very quickly, but I don't get any resources from it. It just gets rid of it. So you're going to want to You can use that if you need to clear an area quickly, but if you actually want resources, you need to work. So anyway, we're now going to build ourselves a small shelter. So we do that by placing barricades. If you go into work mode by holding Q or the left shoulder button on your uh, controller, that's how you go into work mode, then use your secondary menu cursor to select which which blueprint you want to place. So we're going to keep going until we see Barricade, which is right there. Then we're going to press Stack Blueprint to put down some blueprints. And then we're going to work the blueprint in normal mode. Right. Easy cake. Keep doing that. You can't put more than three blueprints down at a time, <laughs> which he'll be happy to tell you. Oops. Oh, 
also I want to show you this. If you are standing directly in a spot when you're building, it still builds, but then you get stuck. To get unstuck, simply quickly exit to the overworld. You won't be able to walk in. Let's just enter back in, and you'll be unstuck. Anytime you get stuck, you can just pop to the overworld quickly, and you'll be fine. Now you can see we've left a gap here to create a door. So we're going to go to the barricade net, which is the door for a barricade. Put the blueprint right there. Now. We don't have enough resources. So if we check the barricade net, we can see it needs 8 pieces of wood and 64 pieces of rope. We don't have any rope, so we need to make some. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a workstation right here. Built a workstation. Perfect. Now, when you have your, when you go into a, a blueprint mode and you put your reticule on a workstation, you can see up in the top left, you get an entirely different set of blueprints. Those are the crafting and refining blueprints. So we're going to go through there and find rope. And we're going to put a rope blueprint on the table. And we need 64 pieces of rope. Every time we work this table, we get two. So we need to work it about 30 times. So we're just going to keep hitting that. Every time you hear that metallic noise, it means you got bonus materials. So you can see I got some salt and fiber. And it's getting dark. Get through this quickly. made all the rope. So now, if I go over here to the barricade net, both numbers are green. We have sufficient resources. I'm going to build this door in the dark. <laughs> so now we have a door. So uh, you can work on the door to open and close it. Like that. And since it's dark, we're going to make a bonfire right there. set. So we can go out here and you can see having the bonfire creates a little icon that sort of follows us when we leave, which enables us to easily locate our campsite by the sight of the fire. We go to the overworld, we can see it's visible there as well. Campfires are easier to see in the dark. They create a spot of light, so it's pretty uh, hard to miss. And that is pretty much um, what you can do in the game right now as far as um, building and using your resources. Um, if I, oops, I'm not clear. You want to make sure that you're in a clear open terrain before you try to exit to the overworld or else you won't be able to walk anywhere. You can just be able to look. So, if I go over here to the rocks, I can grab some rocks. And then I'll be able to go back to my workstation over here, which I can find easily because of my campfire. stone blocks on the table and I can make stone blocks with the rocks that I just picked up. I can also, well, you can see I'm getting metal ore from these rocks so I can put metal on the table and turn it into metal. So you can have fun with um, 
exploring, collecting resources and refining them, if you like. Um, presently, that's about all there is to do in the game. I'm working on expanding the construction first, after which I'll be putting in the monsters and the other survivors and such. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a snapshot of where Townsea is presently and how to explore the features that are currently there. So, um, before I go, I want to give a big thank you to all the people who have been following this project from the beginning. Your support means everything to me. And I also want to give a big welcome to the people who are seeing this for the first time. I hope you'll stick around and see this through to the end. Um, and with that, I'm out. Thanks, survivors. I'll see you next time.